Welcome to Satisfactory. My name is Nila. So this is episode 17 of our Let's Play campaign. And uh, I really appreciate all of the support. And I'm for some reason, I'm just enjoying this Let's Play. Oh, no. Did, oh, did you just see that? Are we seriously using power? Oh, no. I did not plan for that to happen. Oh, oh, that's that's going to be one of those problems that I'm just going to ignore and hope that goes away. Let's just see. That's crazy. Why are we consuming so much suddenly? I have no idea. That makes capacity consumption. Okay, so we are con we were so just consuming a bit more than that. I just saw those. Ah, they're flickering. All right, uh, that's a massive issue that I'm gonna ignore today. Um. <clears throat> okay. So. <laughs> Ah, what? I don't know. Anyway, we, uh, we let's uh, let's look at this. This is our big, big milestone: the aeronautics, engineering, all of these things. We're going to work towards the drones. That means batteries, and batteries means casings and alkaline aluminium sheets to be uh, industrialized. So that is what we want. Smack that one! Milestone. I am so surprised about the power here. Of drones, ideal for shipping across long distances or difficult terrain. Ensure the presence of batteries at drone ports for optimal results. A new project part enables progress to the next phase. Yeah, so um, so now we have the drones at least research, but that's not going to be good enough because at the end of the last episode, we built over here, we built some. Let's slow down a bit here. We built the aluminium ingots but there's still a bit of step left to make the ingots into alkaline aluminium sheets and into what was the other thing uh, aluminium casing and for that we need copper because the recipe do i have that excess yes aluminium and then alkaline aluminium that one it needs copper and copper is a massive issue oh right there are some uh, some people who have mentioned to me and i was like no that can't be true that can't be true that one of my scrap buildings do not have any coal. Yeah, that sucks. So uh, that one, go in there. And we should see over here, it's also working. Yep, it is. So one of the things we definitely want to do is upgrade all these to Mark 5s. That would be like this, Mark 5. And all of this needs to be upgraded. Let me just... Uh, here these need to be upgraded that one needs to be upgraded this one technically doesn't need to be upgraded but let's be consistent at least this needs to be upgraded and uh, some of these need to be upgraded so what our objective now is to up to find some copper and bring it back and that's not going to be super simple because if i just scan for copper here and then we wait for a small eternity not a big eternity just a small eternity Yep, we're still waiting. There we go. That's the back at the base. Then uh, we still wait. There's the other one. I'll just complete this one back here. And then we'll go on the map. On the map. That one is the closest. That is insanely far away. Up here. Uh, we do have our bridge here. So I'm going to need to get this copper into this location in order for us to be able to... Uh, to do it there we go that one and i also need to do this one and then obviously i also need to upgrade this and and this and let's see we also have a few more this needs to be updated this one and then there then we have oops up on this part we're gonna get this uh the uh, the bauxite also needs to be upgraded a tiny bit more just back to the first first location that's gonna be like this here oh i have 100 Ugh, do i have enough oh that would be horrible if i didn't have enough uh 47 oh no 19 no i don't have enough ah okay <laughs> Well, that is how things are always. But look at how fast we can go on these belts. This is crazy. All right, so out there in the wild somewhere, 
we are going to have to get some copper. It's I'm going to pass through that one. It's probably out here. Yeah, that's one. And out here. So I need to go out there, get some copper, and then we'll uh, we'll find a way back. Oh, okay. Let me just try to land safely. Okay, we got extremely far. Wow. Yeah, let's uh, go out to that copper and start feeding the way back. Here we have some beautiful copper hooked up there. It's a 600. There is actually another copper right there that we haven't taken because we don't really need it. We only have we have 600 inbound. That's going to be just enough for us right now. And we're going to be hitching a ride all the way back. And while we do that, there's a few things I want to talk about. So we are going to hitch a ride and we just enjoy how awesome this infrastructure is. So this infrastructure here this of course takes quite a while to make, but I actually really, uh, despite that, this was some of the things that was just mind numbing last time I played in update three. But I think one of the reasons why I don't find it to be mind numbing anymore, or in this case, is because of this YouTube series. The fact that we, for this YouTube series, can now go, look at this, it's already built. It's just super nice. And that means we can... Uh, uh, I can kind of reuse some of the things because we are going to build things on the YouTube and we're going to do some of those more, uh, let's say, infrastructural changes on the Twitch stream. And then we, while we talk about all sorts of other things, which allows us to now have 600 copper coming back here. And then we can start doing the actual designs uh, during uh, these episodes. So I hope you appreciate it because it's, uh, it's of course, yeah. I mean, I hope you appreciate it because it should be fun. And uh, from my perspective, I think it's a super nice way of, of doing this. And it's it just makes a lot of sense. So that is why I'm super happy. And I hope that there will be continue to be interest in this series so that I can continue to uh, play this and go really late game and make a base factory and all those cool things. I really hope that we can continue this for as long as it remains interesting. But of course, it depends on the interest. So make sure that you... Uh, share your interest so I know that it's still something you want to watch. Well, I just started building stuff. We have to uh, take a step back, and that's not it, and look at what it is we actually need to make. We need to make two things. We need to make... We have the aluminium ingots. We need to make alkaline aluminium steel, a uh, plate sheet. But that requires the copper that we have over in that corner, so we're not going to do it first. We're going to do this, and I think this is a crazy recipe. So you go from a, re a utilization of 3 to 2 into 4 to 3, but at the cost of 10 extra copper. I don't feel that's worth it. Particularly, not because I need the copper I made, but I don't want right now. But be primarily because that's a constructor build, that's an assembler build. Constructor builds are so much nicer. And the cost here, I mean, I don't think that's worth it. So we are going to build a con the constructor build here. This one will now make the aluminium casing. It takes 90 per minute. And if we recall correctly, it was somehow nine, uh, 600 and 600 and something to fill this up. Let's, say, let's just see. Oh, there was a, a reason or a, a, an idea here that um, for this thing, that maybe it's a faster way of doing this. Uh, that seems pretty fast. Pretty fast. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I want eight. Eight times nine, that's 72. That's 720 per minute. And, oh, by the way, I held control and just clicked towards me. That was super nice. Thanks for the advice. And if that's when you want to build them, like, uh, back to back, which is only really constructors that works for so that means this one can consume all all of the all the way up to 720 aluminium ingots per minute. That's technically too much, but that's actually what I want because I don't know if I'm what I'm going to use most of ingots or no sorry uh, the sheets or the casing. So I really want to just balance them and just say half goes into each, but if one stalls and the other one is still running, then the one that's uh, still running can be consuming up to 100%, hopefully. That's going to be the idea. And then I am going to get a box there. And get outbound side. 
will be a Mark V. Flip. There. So, we are going to have from this path here, that is the output. I should actually get it from this one, but I don't. Uh, so, I'm getting it from here. And that will be going into a splitter at this location. And we'll just one, two. Yeah. So we get I'm because I have a stockpile, I'm gonna get seven hundred and eighty inbound here. That'll be split into this part, which will make lots of aluminium casing, which goes back out and in. Good. The other part continues onwards and then goes into another splitter that will go down this middle lane here. And this middle lane will be where we set up assemblers. Assemblers will... Now we've been used to this by now, so let's we can probably build this pretty straightforward. That is going to be one input, which is... This is also one of the big, big advantages of using this grid. It is super easy to place, right? You can see exactly where they are because they are split into smaller squares. So this one... And I can already now, well, maybe I can't. I think it's here, but I'm not quite sure, honestly. And then we know that assembler takes almost two blocks, but not quite. And if I then make it, this is the middle of the block, then it doesn't fit very well. So I'm going to do one tick off. I mean, it should, okay, I'm just, just going to try it wrong. That one. Because I'm going to get the copper from over here. So I'm going to get that on the top layer. That means the top layer is coming in here. One, two, three. And then I'm going to do the assembler. Which will be... I need to stand here. Ugh, right there. And then I pull it towards me until I have the blue line connecting here. And then we show that this doesn't work. Yeah. I think that it'll actually work if I did it the other way. But I really don't like that idea. It, it also doesn't connect, so that's kind of irrelevant. So when you build the assembler, you pretend that it takes two tiles, these two tiles. And therefore, you take it in the middle, and then you go one off. So we take out the assembler. And I need to stand here again. It's the only way to really make sure that we position it correctly. There. Now I can do my input from here. And this is the one that I, I'm 100% sure that it used to work. But now it doesn't. I have to put a one little segment in here. So what is, what is this? Uh, I'll put it here. This will be the Alclad aluminium sheet. 30 aluminium and 10 ingots. That's not much. Give us 30 of these. Okay. And that means this will be our... Branching output. That means I need a... Nope. I need a what? There, a merger. This will merge in this one. And I can also very easily see that there is no way that I can get enough of these there. Because I can't build them as close as I want to because they're not a full multiple of two so they are slightly overreaching you see the, the closest I can build it is like this and I don't like building them offset like that so I'm going to basically pretend that they're one and a half wide so they're going to take one and a half foundation block each that one and that's probably going to be the final one or do we think we can go one more further I think we can go one further there yeah, this should just, just be room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. That's only 240 being consumed. But you know, it's still 240 being consumed. So that should be good. And I can then continue making... These are coming... I should... This is the aluminium ingots coming from the side. And it needs to be... Just uh, follow the teal lines. That's a teal line. That makes sense and there's a teal line and then that's a teal line and that one and that one 
And then from the other side, we are going to get the copper inbound. One, two, three. Make sure they don't rotate. And that's going to be here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, it's just getting a bit uncertain. And we're going to build this for copper inbound. Yeah. And then the rest is okay. So we need to take it out. With control, we select multiple. The problem with the control part is that you, when you select them, you can't deselect something. So if you make a mistake, you can't just undo it from the selection. All right, so that is the next part. Let's go down here, make that one, and then put the extra bit in. And from here, just adding that extra bit immediately. And from here, and from here. Okay, so that's all of it. Then we take the the other part. I could maybe have done that first to make it easier for myself because of the roaming around here. But it's only eight. Ha! I love it when it does that, these kind of things. Like, really? Is that, you think that's what I want? And then we need to make sure this is gonna be 240, but at this point, we're just gonna use our Mark 5s for everything. Mark 5 is our friend now, our only friend. Well, actually, I still do like having slow belts for the inputs and outputs of machines. Like, I basically will use Mark 1 belts and Mark uh, 5 belts from now on, nothing else. That's my, my plan. The aluminum belts are for everything that's faster than 60 and anything that's slower than 60, it's gonna be Mark 1 belts. The reason why I want Mark 1 belts is because, oh yeah, lovely. It's because I don't really want to overfill anything here. Oh, now I'm just thinking of something else that I might have done wrong. Like, over here. This one. If I do that, that's not even going to be fast enough because I need 90 in here, but that is only 60. So uh, this is going to have to be a Mark V belt. Whether you like it or not, I'm also going to take this out because I really don't want to build that right here. I want to be able to build everything and then hook it up. So we're back to the casing. I know it's just switching a bit back. So we're going to get the casing inbound. And I know this is super flickery. But we'll just get this part done. I want to make sure that we do this, uh, build this design. It's not super big, so like eight repetitions. That's not much. Good, and then we're gonna go the outside belt. That is not needed, needing anything faster, so. If you can hover. Oh yeah, uh, the hover, we got the hovercraft, the hover pack thing. I don't like it. I mean, maybe that's not, if you know me, then that's maybe not very surprising. But, th like, in this case, you go like, oh, you can just hover above, it. yeah, but then I need to have power. And I, power is usually the last thing I do. Uh, if I have like, if I'm building inside a closed factory where I have power lines in the ceiling or something like that, it makes a lot of sense, but I'm using really open spaces. So the hover pack is just not very good for my, uh, my way of building. Uh, these are the casings, casing, casing, casing. And Casing, and I think the last one was set already, yeah. So we have now the, all of the casing done, and I'm gonna take it from here, go over to the next part, then it, this is where it goes in, but you know, this is only 240, this part. This is only gonna give us 240. That's not great, is it? I could easily double that. I think we should double it actually, just to so that I can consume at least 200, uh, 480 and 
it would also then require yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's that's definitely that's that's a thing we do we do that okay so again we pretend this one is taking two tiles that means the middle tile here this one will be where i put the balancer or the adjustment and then i have to move it one towards the middle there that should be where i want to place this part boom two three four oh did i miss it i don't know i was looking at chat no i was just looking at the timer there i hope i have enough things i brought a lot of things for this uh, build so that we would be able to build all of it at once without sort of having to do extra supply runs but you never know and uh, there it is Ta -da! all right and this one will now also be made into a box uh what there it is that box and i'm gonna do the same thing here inbound and inbound cool so on this side i am going to get another splitter and that splitter will go into this location and i just want to check that we position it correctly one two three and that extra little supporter piece one two three one Three. This uh, this will also just the reason why I, I really need this to be built is because this will help us align where I want the copper inbound. Because I want the copper to go in. Oh, there must be a slug nearby below us. I haven't even explored the area below us. I just started. Building. So it's just pristine. And I want to have that going here. Okay, so this is the important part. This is where the copper will have to come in. Boom. And it will go in. Oh, no. There. So copper comes in here and then it goes all the way over and then I hope that there's room for it. I think there is. Oh, let's just move it. But this one. One, two. And we need a belt. From this one to that one and in here. And look at that. I love this part. So nice. I'm not considering this clipping. I'm considering it kissing and that's great. Kissing is great, especially when you're talking about belts. There we go. All right, so this is where I have to put in some copper. Well, copper is... It, it seems like something is really angry below us. Yeah, there's definitely something very angry below us. Don't care. And let's see, where's that? That's going to be... Okay, so maybe this one. So this will be outbound. One, two... Three, we built copper so many times that I even I can think I can do it. Three, four, five, six. I think we'll leave it at <clears throat> six. This is going to be 180. <clears throat> Sorry. And I'm just going to put that here just to make absolutely sure I, I hit it the right place. And this oops, smelter. <clears throat> So this is a copper smelter doing six, uh, thir 30 per second, minute, 30 per minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, misplaced. Three, four, five, and six. And then, of course, we need inbound. There. So I'm bringing, at this point, 600 copper inbound and I'm using 180 of it that's not impressive but it is it's okay it's okay yeah there's definitely something very angry with me I'm gonna build it here we are going to feed the copper in I want to see this uh, actually working 
here. And also outbound wise. Okay, so this is probably the point where I can go, okay, we think we, we pretty much have the layout and now it's just filling in the banks. Copper is coming in here, getting set into all of these copper ingots. That is 30 in, 30 out. So that means I get on the outside lane out here. Out here, I'll get 180 outbound. outbound. That will go into this location where we'll be split so that it goes 90 in this direction and 90 in that direction. And if I go follow this direction here, the 90 goes in here, gets put into this machine, which will be making alkaline aluminum sheets. And it'll make it, it'll consume 10 per minute. And there are eight of those, so that will consume a total of 80. And I put 90 in, so 80 copper, and I'm consuming nine. I'm putting 90 in and I'm consuming 80. Perfect. And from the other side as well, we look at the aluminium ingots coming out of that one, which will be split into first this one. And then from here, it'll be a split again. So when the whole thing is running, let's see. When the whole thing is running, the one, the 780 that the belt can carry will go here, get split 50-50. And they will just be working until until one of these fills up. When either this fills up with casing or this one fills up with uh, the sheets, then the other one will start getting the majority. And that should be it. So what I need to do is set the recipes, finish the rest of the belts, hook up power, hook up power, and then we'll uh, we'll hook it up and see how it works together. Let's let's do that. So now everything is hooked up. You can see a lot of yellow lights everywhere. And that is pretty good. Pretty good. Let's uh, start by going over on the other side over here. We can see all of the belts have been hooked up, I hope. And all the power has been hooked up and all the recipes have been hooked up. I think, hope maybe that all of it is done. What I'm going to do now is I am going to... And then we still have this angry thing below us. That is what it is. That is it. We are getting 600 copper getting smashed into this slow build but it's uh this is the this is basically the point of having the slow build when it comes in here instead of filling this one up it only fills it up to 60 that means there's still 540 going through 480 and then it fills up all of them pretty quickly i don't know if it even actually makes it quicker or anything like that but we are now getting a total of 180 coming out here which is going to be look like nothing on this belt but that's going to be good. And I'll hit you right on this belt so we can more quickly get back here and hook up the last bit of belts. This one. And inbound. All right. Let's see what's going on. Let's go up here so we get a bit of a vantage point above. This is going to be our casing. And look at that. Look at all the casing coming out. That's really neat. Is it? Yeah, it is neat. <laughs> it's neat. It is neat indeed. And... Let's see, all of this goes over. So basically, it, half of it goes in here. And I know that you might be going like, well, you could actually also take the other one. Yeah, but with this build, I'm going to drain those. And I really don't want ingots to be placed anywhere. Pla ingots, I don't really think that's a that's a, a good storage thing. I'd ra much rather have storage here. And not just that, but I'd also really like to have storage in the form of... Um, yeah, I'd like to have storage... Uh, I'd like to actually get rid of some of this because I'm going to get, this is going to be built at, if let's say we get half of it, 720, this is what we get in, divided by 2, and then it goes in through this process and gets multiplied by 0 0.6667 or whatever, right? Oh no, it doesn't work like that. It's actually like this. 270 is how much I get 260 are going out okay so I could take I could take this one and put it in a yeah we can put it into the, the awesome sink I don't think that's might right now it might not be a great idea to do but uh, I, I like I like the idea of it that one should we do it this way and then the awesome sink over here as well 
We really shouldn't be doing that right now, but we should do it then when we have enough. And then basically we should take something that's just going to be a Mark II belt, for example. Because, yeah, you know, I don't want to over drain it. I want to make sure that I actually have a production here. And that I'm just going to pick those up because I want them. <laughs> but if we see this part, is it going to work? Uh, this one is missing copper. Is that a flaw or is it just like supply and demand? Uh, okay, I think it's just the fact that copper is... I'm not going to say slow. It's fast enough. But the issue is always with a manifold build is that this one is going to be filled up with copper before the next one this one gets filled up with aluminium and the other side is going to be the diff the opposite scenario so that is uh it's it's going to work soon this one okay you got one outbound and that's going to give us alclad aluminium let's see if i get a total and just do some math again it's still half of it goes in here 360 okay so we could actually still use that one and then go maybe a mark three belt even oh yeah and then i want to at this point make an awesome sink because i think this is actually good things to to sink i don't know maybe there uh power i'm not sure this is what i should be doing right now uh because okay where's the power power is over on this side Oh, I don't have power in the corner. I should have. I should have power in this corner. There you go. That one. And... Let's just go like middle-ish. And... Hook that one up. So, this one should now be consuming what it can. It comes in on a Mark II belt. Which is going to be combined with a Mark III belt. <clears throat> into another Mark III belt. It's technically pretty stupid, isn't it? Let's just uh, get it. So whatever we get... Okay, that's just not what I wanted. Mark V belt. There we go. So whatever comes in, just get rid of it. And... Yeah, so this one will drain 270 of those. This one will drain a lot more of those. It, it seems weird to do this, but it's just going to make an overflow because right now I know that I'm going to be starting on the next build. And the next build will take an awful long time to build, and uh, that's why. So let's have a look if I have the recipe for it. Uh, battery. Do we have battery? Yes, we do. So battery is a blender recipe, the default one, which takes sulfuric acid, which is luckily just sulfur plus, uh, plus water. And then it's alumina solution, which is absolutely horrendous because I don't expect to, I did not expect to uh, export alumina solution plus some casing. But luckily, yay, the classic battery, which just takes solid sulfur, solid aluminum sheet, solid plastic, and copper. And if we just think about where we have things, copper, we just brought 600 copper inbound. All right, that's good stuff. Aluminium, we have that right here. Plastic, we have that right over there. So we have one, two, oh, I'll just save and three things really close to this one and the only thing we actually missed to get in here is sulfur so we scan for sulfur we can probably find out where the next sulfur is going to be and that's uh that will be the location we want to find there okay so let's look at the map this sulfur here is the one we hooked up and go up to this line which goes back and becomes the explosives not really used for much but it is so we can take this one, which is up top. And I have my inbound. This The copper inbound actually goes right around here. So we can get this one pretty easily. Hook it up on this belt. And that means we have on this belt, we have copper and sulfur. And from here, we can have alkaline aluminum sheets. And from here, we can have plastics. That means this is the location where we want to make our battery build. And that's going to be the next thing we want to make. Let's see, how many of these do we have? Eh, 15 it's not much it doesn't matter we'll uh, they'll slowly accumulate but we're certainly increasing here because uh aluminium is apparently a good thing to throw in there cool and we we're building it in so vast quantities that why not 
the one thing though <clears throat> and that's something we're gonna have to deal with very very soon is we are very closing up on our consumption our consumption and our power is not looking great so what we really need to uh, to deal with is a we're gonna have to look at power in the not too distant future it's not gonna be nuclear power that's still way too far off but i think it's gonna be something like turbo fuel power but i really want to get the drones first so i might have to turn this off so we have this one more idling than uh, than it needs to cool but that is gonna be where we are wrapping up this episode we have now done all the aluminium builds and the next thing we have also pull them all in an area here that is really close so batteries should be next on the menu the reason for batteries is of course because batteries leads into drones i don't know if you're gonna make make the drones but we have automated motors we have automated alkaline aluminium sheets now yes we ha don't have automated ai limiters what we don't even have an alternate ai limiter mm. and we don't have automated portable miner they are really complicated the the automatic one Huh, that's interesting. So if you want to automate them, they're super expensive in manufacturers. Wow. Okay, never mind. And we don't have the radio control units, but do have an interesting alternate radio control unit that seems that seems not particularly much better, is it? I don't know. I think it's just Yeah, I think that we're gonna use the default recipe here. Because we have Quant we're using quantum computers so we have the oscillators next to the computers so those are next to each other and they are actually if we look at it they're just over here they're just that line is the oscillators going to the computer factory so maybe somewhere between here and there we could make the radio control unit factory which would be useful but that's in a couple of episodes from now anyway it is time for us to wrap up i hope you are enjoying this series and as we sort of make one specific thing in each episode it's of course going to take a while but uh, the base is certainly expanding so thank you very much for watching hope to see you next time uh, either here on youtube or maybe you watch on twitch where i'm streaming this live on monday wednesday and friday until next time take care and as always stay effective